Hi, welcome to Paleo Greenbird. I'm Greenbird, and in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about um, the YouTube community, my experience, and how we can help each other. So, um, I know that we're all sort of programmed to be very cautious on the internet, you never give out your personal information, and you know, always be skeptical. And, and that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but um, what I've experienced is I've met a lot of really amazing people and some good friends, to be honest with you, you know, through through YouTube. I never thought that would happen. That was never the point of my channel. My channel was designed to sort of document my journey in learning primitive skills, uh, you know, so I can I can go back and watch them. My kids can go back and watch them. Well, my, my child. I only have one kid. <clears throat> and, um, you know, you know, sort of so that it was like, like, like documenting my, my experience and maybe some other people would find that interesting and, and join me with that. And in the process, there's been a number of people that that have done exactly that. They've subscribed to my channel. I've, I, I talk to them. Some, some of my talk to daily, weekly, monthly, you know, maybe once in a while. But um, all of them, I, I feel, are just you know, you know part of my YouTube community. And I don't, I don't know really how, know how to articulate that. But um, in the process of doing that, I've met people that I've done trades with. You know, send packages back and forth. They send packages to me. I send packages to them. And um, you know, the first time I did that, I was very skeptical. I was like, "Okay, this person wants my information. You know, wants to know where I live, and you know, what do I do? Should I just, you know, not give that out?" And I decided that you know, I was going to assume the best. That, that yeah, people are good. There are bad people out there, but I think the majority of people are good. And um, and I'm glad I did that because I've met a lot of really great people and made some great friendships. So what I thought I would do today is uh, do a video on how we can help support our YouTube community. And this is by no means <clears throat> um, a solicitation to encourage anybody to do this to my channel. Um, this, this is just because you know I find so much value in the, the channels that I follow. I mean, I follow a number of big channels, a number of small channels, um, you know, Rewild University, Paleo Man Jim, Jack Crafty, Paleo Man 52, I think his name is. Um, uh, boy, I'm forgetting a bunch of them. Uh, Indian Trace. Uh, just a lot of a lot of larger channels. Roberto Blake. If you haven't checked out Roberto Blake and you're a YouTuber, check him out. He'll help you out a lot. Anyway, so I thought, how can I, you know, really show my appreciation for these people that take the time out of their day? And I know they're making money. So, uh, you know, don't think that I don't understand that, but, you know, they're not making a ton of money just out of, off of you watching their videos. They have other things. So, came up with a few ideas. I came up with six ideas of how I can start helping the YouTube channels that I really appreciate and that I get value out of and that really give me, um, you know, satisfaction in learning from them. So, so here we go. So, I'm going to start with number one. Number one is... Watch the ads. I know that the ads are annoying. After four seconds, you can skip past them. But uh, what I'm going to start doing, and what I've, what I've kind of started doing already, is once those ads run, I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee, or go to the bathroom, make myself a sandwich, do whatever I'm going to do. And I'm going to let those ads run. I'm going to let as many ads run as I can, because uh, what I've learned, and I don't know if this is still the case, but what I learned is that if those ads don't run you know, for 30 seconds to a minute, they actually don't get paid on those ads. So, you know, someone's taking a lot of time and effort to put out this video that I appreciate. I mean, I won't watch the ads. If it's a video that I don't like, I'm not gonna watch the ads. It's, it's, it's not for me. But if I really appreciate it and I'm learning something from it and I'm getting value from it, um, you know, why not let their ads run as long as I can? So anyway, number one, let the ads run. Number two, um, share. You know, share their video. Don't be that guy that you know shares 15 videos a day on Facebook. People will just start to ignore you and and so forth. But maybe you take a video that you really like, that you got a lot out of, and um, maybe once a week you share a video on your Facebook page. Be surprised. It's very helpful, especially for smaller channels that will get more hits and will get more exposure. Maybe the people you share it with will share it with somebody else, and um, you know that will help their al algorithm. Just uh, you know, be a be a benefit to them. So it's one way that you can very easily not only share something that you find 
uh, informational and useful with other people. Maybe you're educating them or helping them, but you're also helping the channel. Another great thing, especially, uh, this is sort of a sidetrack, but especially if you're a smaller channel, um, comment <coughs> on the channels, on the videos of the channels that you follow because you would be amazed at, at the impact that that makes on getting your own subscribers. I have found that uh, there are channels that I always, always used to watch, never made a comment just because I didn't have a whole lot to say, and um, made a couple comments, and I, I got subscribers because of it. People saw my comment, looked at my page, and said, hey, this is something that I'm into too. So comment on them. That helps their algorithm. It'll help your page, and um, you know, just helps everybody. So comment. So watch ads, share, comment. Now, um, another one, if you're a small channel, if, you're a, if you have a YouTube channel, then um, maybe in one of your videos, mention one channel that you're really into uh, every time that you do a video. So I'm going to mention this channel, Warrior Poet Society. If you have not watched Warrior Poet Society, please go there after this video is done and check out his videos because um, they're, they're really good. They're amazing. So, um, so in the in the midst of your video, when you're recording, just go ahead and mention, hey, by the way, I you know there's this channel that I really like. If you like my channel, you might like theirs, and um, that gives them a little bit more exposure. So, um, fourth is going to be let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, fourth is going to be uh, merchandise. You know, everyone has sweet merch. I wish I had sweet merch, but unfortunately, Paleo Greenbird is not big enough to have sweet merch. But the fact of the matter is, is that we all need shirts, we all need t-shirts and clothes, hats, you know, whatever it is. Why not, instead of spending 20 bucks at Walmart and supporting, you know, big business, why not spend $25 on your favorite YouTube channel and get a shirt that, you know, supports them, it shows your support, you know, wearing the shirt, people will ask you about it, you'll say, oh yeah, you gotta check this guy out, he's really cool, got great videos, and, um, you know, <clears throat> pardon me. I got some sort of a chest cold, so I apologize. So, um, you know, that's another good, good, good uh, way to support your channels is, is merchandise, coffee cups, whatever it is. Um, you know, so the the uh, the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth way, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Can't count. The fifth way, and this is you know will be a little bit controversial because not everybody can do it, but Patreon. If you can. Um, be a patron on Patreon of, of maybe your top five channels. I mean, I follow about 50 channels at least. So for me, it's I know I can, it's a little bit unfeasible for me financially to be a supporter of, of all those channels. Financially, I, I just can't do it. And maybe you can't either. That's okay. But, you know, this is not something you have to do. But if you look into um, a lot of those channels, when you become a Patreon sub, uh, supporter. There are perks that come with it. You know, sometimes it's just like you get to see the video first or whatever. But other times, there are monthly, um, you know, not, I don't want to say merchandise, but like there's this one, there's this one um, channel. And I won't mention their name, but they offer every month. If you're at the, I think it's the five dollar level subscription, they send out like different cards that have, you know, edible plants and you know things like that, and you can get their collection. If that's of value to you, then you can do it. Uh, it depends upon, you know, what what your means are as far as financially being able to commit to something like that and if you find value in that channel. Uh, <clears throat> so those are the first five ways that you can support your favorite YouTubers, help them out. None of it comes out of your pocket except for the last one that I said. But lastly, the, uh, the sixth one, and this is the most important, this will help nano channels like myself or small channels that are just lacking a little bit of robust algorithm, and that is watch the entire video. I mean, we all scan through the videos and we'll kind of bump ahead a little bit until we get to the part that we want to see, and, and that's okay. Uh, I understand that people do that. I do it too. But one thing that I'm going to try and start doing is once I've finished a video, I'm going to start it over. And I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to click it from the beginning, go do whatever I'm going to do, and then let that video play out in its entirety so that that person gets um, you know, good watch time. If you have a YouTube channel, check out your analytics, and you'll see that your watch time probably isn't what you wish it was. And 
uh, you know, that's just normal. You know, people are not, people are going to scan through it. They're going to fast forward because they've got other videos they're going to watch. They've got other things they're going to do. They might be at work. They might have, you know, a busy schedule, whatever it is. So, um, anyway, those are the six ways that I think that I am going to, at least I am going to commit to start doing that to support my, my favorite channels. You know, people like, you know, Rewild University, Survival Lily is a good one. Um, you know, like I said, uh, uh, Warrior Poet Society, uh, Paleo Man 52, Paleo Man Jim, Jack Crafty, um, uh, Primitive Technologies. If you've never seen Primitive Technologies, you, you definitely have to check him out. He's, he's amazing. Um, and I know, I'm, I know I'm missing a bunch of them. Indian Trace. Um, let's see, who else is big on my watch list? Uh, Wrangler Star, you may or may not like him. He's, you know, um, so anyway, there's there, there's a bunch of them, and um, so those are the ways that you can support your favorite YouTube channels. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had it recorded prior, much better than this video came out, but unfortunately I had those technical errors that uh, you know led to me losing those videos. So this is the best I can come up with. So really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you implement some of these techniques. If you have anything else that you think of that I can implement to help small, medium, large YouTubers and really show my appreciation to them, then uh, please post them in the comments. So until next time, this is Paleo Greenbird. And I hope you like, share, subscribe. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'm signing out.